So now we've set up the request and we'll return it down here. Next, what we want to do is set up progress status. So let's just call that here first. And we want to pass it the request so it knows what state the request is in. Let's create the function here. Yeah. Just copy this quickly. And it's going to accept the parameter called request. And what's going to be inside of that is just going to be setting up an event handler when any time the upload progress changes. So request dot upload dot progress on progress actually. We're going to keep calling this function, which will have e as a parameter, which is the upload itself. So what we want to do, we want to say the progress um form that the progress div that we have selected here, we're going to modify its width based on um, how much data has been loaded as a percentage. So we say progress dot style dot width. What's going to be the width is going to be percentage of how much elements. That's going to be a percentage of how much has been uploaded. So we have mat dot seal. Let's just say ceiling and to get the percentage we say how much has been loaded but we get that by accessing the loaded property of the progress over the total size of the file so this total property will give you how big this file is and then we just multiply by, by 100 so and add just a percentage string there so that it um, sets this width appropriately because this width accepts a, per a percentage um, after the number so next we're going to set the progress div um, HTML to the same as we have over here. So progress dot inner HTML equal to max. Let's actually let's just copy all of this because it's pretty much the same. Paste that in here. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead right now and just try out our HTML. Um, let's just close this out now. Sorry, not try HTML, try out our um, uploader. But before we do that, we just need to do one more thing. Let's open the port. Because we have access to request, so we say request.open. And what port? Um, we want to open the port by using the post method. And we want to post to upload.php file. Last but not the least, let's just send the request by passing in data there. Okay, so let's go back in our browser and test this out and see what happens. So we'll refresh, let's open Chrome Inspector in case an error occurs. So let's select the file and click on upload. And as you can see, it went the 100% run from 0 to 100. And the reason this is really quick is because I'm using my local computer and even if you're doing it on yours, I would urge you to increase the file size of your Apache server and select a really big file and then um, do the upload. So let me, I've refreshed the browser here. I'm going to select another file, a really big one, and we'll try to upload that file. Just so you see that the indicator is working, but this file will most likely fail because the file limit on the uploader php file is way less less than this size here so i click as you can see the uploader is working this file is about 600 megabytes big so but um i didn't expect that to go through anyway so let's look in our uploads um folder here if i um refresh this you shouldn't see that um file because it's not going to be allowed by our upload.php but I just wanted to show you that this upload indicator here works. So this is not actually what's happening on your server, this is the level at which on your client here how much file has been sent to your server. Okay. So that's it guys for this tutorial video. I hope it was helpful and I know this is a bit more complicated than your normal um, series but if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask in the comments below or send me um, a question on my website forum i'll be very glad to help out so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next tutorial video cheers bye bye